gonna be perfect. It's just missing one thing, candles. Well, and this time, we remember these candles for three reasons. One, it reminds us of the star of Bethlehem that led the wise men. Second, in darkness, Jesus, the light of the world, was born. And third, we are to be the light of the world, shining with Jesus in us.
And today he still lights the darkness of this world. And I don't know whether you've paid any attention lately or not, but the world seems to be an even darker place than it was just a few years ago. But shining so faithfully in the darkness of this world is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He shines for all to see. God sent him into this world to make a statement to us, to give us gifts. I shared a message this morning and last night with our church called Unwrapping Christmas. Today we unwrap the gift of hope. It's a great gift to unwrap. It's a great gift. I don't know about you, but I need hope in my life. And I think one of the greatest gifts that we can ever unwrap is the gift of forgiveness. There's no way to really get rid of the guilt, the shame, the feelings of not measuring up until we feel forgiven. And the only one I know that offers real forgiveness, which leads to hope and peace and life, is Jesus Christ. I'm going to ask you to bow your head with me and close your eyes for just a moment and I want to pray with us tonight that God would open our eyes this Christmas and that we wouldn't miss the light of Christmas, Jesus Christ. I hope every candy cane you ever see again reminds you of His gift to us, that He washes us white as snow, though our sins would be as scarlet or crimson, He washes us white as snow, that He is the Good Shepherd that has come to watch over us and care for us. And as I pray with you tonight and for you tonight, if, if maybe you've never surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, if you've never asked Jesus Christ to be the light of your world, to take charge of your life, I can't think of a better time than tonight to open that gift of forgiveness, that gift of hope. The Bible says that if we ask God to forgive us, that He will. The Bible says if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is who He is, the Son of God who came to this earth and lived for us, died on a cross for us, and three days later God raised Him from the dead for us. The Bible says if you believe that in your heart and confess that with your mouth, you will be saved. I believe that God has that special gift for every one of us. Don't leave here tonight without opening that gift. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we, we pause for just a moment in this special night of celebrating you and celebrating with our children what Christmas is really all about, to be reminded of the gift that you gave. I pray tonight, Jesus, that your light would shine in every life here, every heart here, every home that's represented here. That your light would drive out the darkness in our lives as we reach for that gift of forgiveness that you offer to us so freely. As we confess our sins to you and ask you to take charge of our life and surrender ourselves to you, Lord, there is hope, there is peace, there is new life. We thank you tonight, Lord, for the witness of 20 children, their witness, their testimony tonight about who you are. Lord, I pray that we'd never forget this and that the light of Jesus Christ would light up our world and may we be lights to this dark world and share the greatest gift of all. Thank you, Father, for loving us enough to give us the gift of life through Jesus Christ. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen.